I feel like I'm gonna have a lot of stories on this channel this year from my beach club that I joined recently in Miami. Um, this beach club basically comes with a bunch of different perks, but the main reason that I joined it was for the social events, to meet new people and, and that kind of thing. And my second event ever, a few weeks back, this odd thing happened and I wanna share the story. So some of these events are like a happy hour type. Some of them are like almost like a lecture. Somebody comes and talks for 20 minutes, 20, 30 minutes about something. Um, and this was one of those. So this lady came to talk about bath products, <laughs> which which spoke to my inner like soccer mom, basically like the benefits of using lavender in your bath versus XYZ, very <laughs> bougie, uh, like first world conversation. And at these events, they always have complimentary food and complimentary wine. Uh, and then basically you socialize with the other beach club members who are in attendance. So this one, really small turnout. It was like less than 10 people. So we're less than 10 people in this small room on this L-shaped couch listening to this lady talk about bath products. And when I first showed up, in the very beginning, it was just me and this other guy. And he was really nice. We talked about work. He was telling me more about the beach club because I told him it was only my second event. And I got a vibe that he was gay, but you, you don't really know for sure, right? But I just felt that he was like a fellow nice gay guy and I enjoyed his company. And then the event started, more people came. We sit down, we listen to this lady talk about bath products and we're all sipping on wine, eating food here and there, right? As this lady's talking, like 20 minutes in, this guy is like noticeably intoxicated, the guy that I was talking to at the beginning of the event, which is weird because we only had like two or three glasses of wine there, right? But he's noticeably intoxicated, meaning he starts asking weird questions to the lady lecturing, uh, meaning like, you know, she explains the benefits of salt in your bath, right? And he would just keep asking the same question, like, wait, but what was the benefit of salt? And he would ask it over and over the same questions to the point where somebody else in the group was like, damn, like how many drinks did you have? They all know him in the beach club. They all know each other. Most of these people have been in it for years, but I'm new, right? This is my second event. So this is my first impression of this guy. And then as he's drinking while the lady's talking about bath products, he kept spilling wine on himself. Not just like a little bit, like, you know, down the chin. This was like, he kept spilling it on all over his jeans. And I'm like, what is this guy on, right? Again, as this lady's talking, I feel him staring at me multiple times. Peripherally, I feel him staring at me. I'm like, okay, what is this about? And then a few times, he touches me, like puts his hand on my shoulder, on my back for a few seconds and then pulls his arm back. And I immediately tense up because I'm like, what, what is this guy's agenda? What is happening? And you know, you go through all those thoughts of like, did I give him the wrong idea? Like, am I doing anything to make him think I'm interested? And you know, in those situations, if you're, let's say at a bar at two in the morning and somebody does that, you can just walk away, right? I think for me, like my fight or flight instinct was triggered, but I can't do anything. We're sitting here all in view of each other. Like everybody can see everybody else. And this lady's talking and a few people notice like, oh, like what's going on over there, right? But I'm just kind of stuck, you know, I'm like frozen there. And I felt so uncomfortable because I don't want to say something, be like, you know, please don't touch me or whatever. Anything I say, people will hear because it's that small and intimate of a circle. So I'm just sitting there like, what do I do? <laughs> Is he gonna keep touching me? What's going on? The event ends. Everybody starts sort of socializing, having drinks. A smaller group ends up moving to the bar of the hotel where this beach club exists. And eventually the guy goes home, the drunk guy. And it gets to a certain point of the night where it's just me and these two women from the beach club. And both of them were like, what was that about? Like, do you know him? Like, did, did you guys like have a thing, a chemistry? And I'm like, no. I met the guy at the start of the event. I don't know why that happened. And both of the women were kind of probing a little bit, like, did you do anything at all to make him think you'd be interested? And I was like, no. And both of these women were sort of defending him, like, oh, well, you know, yeah, it's like weird for him to do that, but it's out of character for him. He's a sweet guy. You know, maybe he's going through something, blah, blah, blah. And I appreciate that kind of empathy, of course. Um, but I was just kind of shocked that they were coming from a place of like apologizing on his behalf. And, and and normalizing that moment. Whereas 
I felt like if I had been a woman complaining about the same thing, they would have instantly been like, yeah, that was fucked up, that shouldn't happen. Now, I don't want this guy's life to be ruined. I'm not gonna like reprimand him or like, it's fine. Like it's over. It's not like the guy touched my, my private parts or something or like, you know, groped me or whatever. But it just was like an icky, weird moment. And then I was further sort of irritated when I came home thinking about these two women's reaction and thinking like, I feel like this is one of those moments, and maybe I could I could be wrong, but I feel like this is one of those moments where because you're a guy, because you're a gay guy, people don't see the situation the same way and they don't have the same, they don't have your back the same way as if you were a woman. And that stuff really bothers me because if, somebody touches you in a way that you like you're not you're not expressing any interest that you want to be touched and it's an event like this i'm sure some of you guys are going to be like it's not a huge deal i like, get over it blah 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 and i mean it's not a big deal i'm not gonna i didn't report it to anybody i'm not going like it's not that deep it's not like i was assaulted or anything but i just I don't like when people make others uncomfortable without any regard for how they feel. And this is also my second event. This was my second event ever, right? So it's like, I'm still trying to make a first, a good first impression on the people I meet as well, right? And so it's like, it just grows when you're new to a situation and trying to leave a good impression. And then that happens and you're suddenly like, uh, how do I, how do I react to this? For gay men watching this video, have you ever been in a situation like this? And how did you react?